Today on the channel, we take a trip to Horseman Country with Jack's Class Superstars Series 12, The Iceman, Dean Malenko, and The Enforcer, Arn Anderson. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jack's Class Superstars Series 12 unboxing and review. And today, from the Four Horsemen, we've got the Iceman, Dean Malenko, and we've got the Enforcer, Arn Anderson. But remember, for all your modern day wrestling needs, to hit up Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. So now, we're going to do this review like we do all the others on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we're going to see where it goes from there. And we're going to start with the Iceman. Man Dean Malenko, a guy that stole my heart when he first came into ECW. That's where I became known of Dean Malenko. Uh, I believe it wasn't him and Joe, his brother Joe. I think they tag team in like, uh, what was that international tag tournament, the global one they had in WC. I think he might have been a part of that. So probably that might have been the first time I really ever did see him. Uh, but ECW sealed the deal for me. Of course, he came over with the Eddie Guerreros, the Jerichos, the Benoits uh, into WCW about the same time. Really reignited WCW for me. A lot of people, and I know we've all heard this before, but everybody loved the main event stuff, or they watched the main event stuff, I guess, the Hogan, the NWO. Uh, but there was something about those guys on that next level down that were really stealing the show every single night. The Luchador is a big part of that as well. Uh, I love Dean Malenko, one of the all-time greats, and one of my favorite wrestlers of the 90s. And when he joined up at the Four Horsemen, him and Benoit, Benoit was my favorite active wrestler uh, in the 90s and 2000s, pretty much. Uh, I just absolutely loved Benoit. I loved Malenko. Heck, I loved Arnie. Anderson. It just all worked for me as a horseman. He'll forever be a horseman for me. Obviously not th fondly thought of, of course, like the Ole and Tully and J.J. Dillon days. Uh, but man, there was a specialness to that four horseman unit. And if it could have just been Benoit, Malenko, Flair, and Kurt Henning with Arn Anderson as their manager... Oh, oh, what my life would have been. But unfortunately, that was turned upside down very, very quick. And one of the biggest travesties in wrestling history, if you ask me. So there you go. Nobody asked, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Now we get down to Dean Malenko. There he is. Look at that. Old Dean Malenko does come with the light heavyweight title. The only time we ever got this title was in this set here. So very interesting. Uh, in the classics line, I should say. He does come with a WrestleMania ticket. We're going to find out where we're sitting and where we're going very soon. On the side, Dean Malenko. On the other side, Dean Malenko Glamour Shot. Of course, Dean Malenko did get a two-pack in the Classic Superstars Tag Team sets as well. Uh, you do get the warnings, the UPCs, you got the cross-sell, the blurb, the tail of the tape, and all the fun stuff, and of course the Glamour Shot of Dean Malenko. Let's see what it says about the Iceman here. Debuted 1979, and he'd been around a heck of a long time before he made it to WCW. Weight 212 pounds, 5'8", finishing move, the old figure 4 leg, leg lock, Brain Buster and Gut Buster. Well, not quite the figure four leg lock. His best finisher move, and somebody's asked me before, Kyle, if you were a wrestler, what was your finishing move going to be? It would have been the Texas Cloverleaf, and that's what he did make famous, if you ask me. But love the Texas Clover Cloverleaf submission. Always thought that'd be really cool. Titles, WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, ECW World Tag Team Champion. He had a lot of WCW titles as well, as we do know. Uh, but very, very cool. Dean Malenko, let's get him out of the pack. A guy very underrated in the action figure department. He is with AEW. Jesus, I make enough noise. He is with AEW these days. I would love it to see a Luminaries Dean Malenko from the AEW line. Hopefully that happens one of these days. We'll see what happens. A lot of happenings going on. Uh, there's the old plastic prison. See you later. Goodbye. And the plastic prison here. There it is. Bam, the man of a thousand holds. Of course, we all know that. And the Jericho had to be a thousand and four, we know. Never forget that angle. There he is. See you later. Goodbye. Where are we headed for WrestleMania? We're going to WrestleMania 21. We're going to Los Angeles, California. Section 110. Row 15. Seat 21. Somebody bring me a pretzel. Uh, there it is. L.A. Once again. Bam. Dean Malenko. All right. Like I said, we got the light heavyweight title belt here. One of the most god-awful looking belts of all time. Just an ugly, ugly belt. Uh, just is what it is. But once again, only time we ever got this in the classics line was with Dean Malenko. So there you go. Uh, then we get old Dean Malenko here and very, very strange on the hair. I remember this too back in the day. And I haven't thought about this in a long time. Even got a little hair slop on mine though off to the side. Uh, but his hair is a little thin. It's got like spots. It almost looks like the figure's been worn and played with. Uh, it's just not the way it is. It's supposed to kind of show the gray, I think, a little bit or kind of the... 
I don't know. I see what they're going for. It just doesn't quite work. It just looks like an unfinished uh, paint job on the hair is what it ends up looking like. Definitely looks like Dean Malenko, but he's another one of those guys. Pretty plain Jane looking. Not sure if you could identify him by just his head. I'm just not sure if that's possible. Uh, but he does have a little smaller torso, a little smaller body style here, but still looks good. It's definitely Dean Malenko style body. This is probably the best body they could have used for him, I think. He does got the trunks going on, a little Iceman type trunks. I would have preferred the blue ones. That blue one really popped back in the day. He does got the thousand on the back, so that is really cool. And then he's got his black knee pads and black boots. And besides that, he's pretty plain Jane. Articulation-wise, of course, the head side to side, up and down a little bit. Waist side to side. Uh, arms all the way around, up and down, that kind of thing. You get the bicep cut. You do get single-jointed elbows. You get the wrist back and forth, side to side. He does got a fist. Good for old Dean Malenko there. Uh, ankles. Uh, up and down, of course. Boy, a lot of paint slop on this one. I got paint slop on the skin by the boots, too. I don't know what happened to old Dean Malenko. This is probably the sloppiest paint job I've ever seen on a classic superstar. I got to be honest. Uh, and then you do get the legs that go forward and back a, a decent amount. He does have his black knee pads. But besides that, a little bit plain Jane, but that's kind of what Dean Malenko was, for good or for bad. And a lot of people thought it was bad. You know, he didn't get too far in the WWE, unfortunately, as far as he could have went. Uh, we know it's a land of the big men uh, that held him back, of course, not being a big, larger type dude. And then he didn't have a lot of personality, as we know. He let the he let the uh, ring work do the talking for him, and that's not all so bad. And I always heard Dean Malenko's like a hilarious guy behind the scenes, uh, just kind of like a Brad Armstrong type that didn't kind of get that out to the audience, I guess, as best I can assume or assess. But still an all-time favorite of mine, probably a top 10 favorite wrestler of the 90s for me. I'd have to sit and do the pen to the paper. Uh, but Dean Malenko, I was a big fan of back in the day. I remember using him in the wrestling games. Loved me some Dean Malenko. But you know who I did love more? Some Arn Anderson, the enforcer. Possibly the most underrated wrestler of all time, really, when you think about it. Amazing promos. Amazing in the ring. Uh, didn't have the looks of a Hulk Hogan or the Ultimate Warrior, of course. But he just looked tough. He looked like he had that uncle strength. Like, Arn Anderson looks like everybody's uncle. They're, they're tough uncle or something like that. But, man, I loved him in the Brain Busters. Loved him in the Horseman. Loved him solo. Loved him in the Dangerous Alliance. Loved him with Colonel Tom Parker. Uh, just more Arn Anderson, please. That's all I can say. And I'm very much anticipating the Jazzwares figure of him. Even if it is as a manager, I'll still take it. The more Arn Anderson figures, the better. Uh, just an unsung hero of wrestling and a guy that deserves more flowers than he gets. How about that? There you go. Uh, there's old Double A in the package. Absolutely love him. It comes with that silver chair because, hey, why not? They had some extras. They threw it in here. Uh, we are going to WrestleMania again. Hopefully, I don't get the same ticket, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, but plain Jane, much like Dean Malenko, a little plain Jane in the figure department for sure. Arn Anderson on the side. Arn on the side. A much younger version of Arn here. Uh, you got the Glamour Shot, Cross Cell, Warnings, uh, UPCs. You got uh, the ticket promotion, giveaway, all the rules down there, all the rules you could ever want to see. Uh, a lot going on back there, but let's read the back. Let's see what's going on with old Double A Arn Anderson. Debuted 1982, 249 pounds, six feet tall. Finishing moves: Spine Buster and Gourd Buster. Titles: World Tag Team Champion, NWA Tag Team Champion, NWA World Television Champion. And as I'm filming this, I think in about 20 days or something, he is coming to Kansas City for a local show. So if you're a Patreon member, you're gonna hear this. If you're not a Patreon member, uh, it's probably November or something like this. But I'm filming this in August. Uh, I'm almost tempted to drive down to Kansas City and see Double A. I've never met Double A in person. He'd be a guy I'd like to get a picture with. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll meet up with old Double A. Who knows? Or maybe I won't. I mean, you just never know. Uh, but it's Spine Buster, Gord Buster, World Tag Team Champion, NWA Tag Team Champion, NWA World Television Champion. Of course, a lot of great television title matches over the years with Double A. All right, let's get him out of the package. Let's see what's doing with the old Enforcer. He's enforcing the package. Rookie, see you later. Goodbye. Can I get this out? What, some of these open up easy. Some of these fight you. It's just uh, crazy. Pull them right there. There it is. Watch out. Watch out. All right. Can I get it without ripping the ticket? Oh, it looks like we're going to a different WrestleMania, too. I'm happy to report. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. And we are going... Oh, we're headed to New York City for WrestleMania 20, and we're sitting in Section 120, Row F, Seat 20. So look me up. Uh, come buy me a souvenir. If you give me that WrestleMania program, that'd be great. If you could bring that up to me, I'd appreciate it. Plastic, yellow plastic prison, of course, for AA right there. Steel chair looking good. Don't really need to walk through the steel chair. I think we've seen him enough, haven't we? I think, I think we have. Uh, all right, AA, get out of the package. Bam, off the races. See you later, Frisbee style. All right, we get double A here, and man, 
Double A has some piercing eyes going on. Some piercing blue eyes. A little bit off-centered, and that makes them even more piercing here. A uh, little dangerous in the eye department. I don't know what to think about that. I, I, yikes. Uh, he does got the Arn Anderson bald spot here, bringing us back to the old Galoob days going on. Uh, he does got his beard there, but man, these eyes are so piercing. They almost distract you from the head sculpt of this one. Uh, but very interesting. I think you would still know it's Arn Anderson, though, if somebody gave you the head here. And like I did say, too, a little bit plain Jane, of course. Just a trunked wrestler in red trunks, red knee pads, red and white boots. Pretty plain Jane. You do get the old double A right there. Got a little bit of red uh, splotch back there. Uh, a little paint blow up. So I don't know what happened to this Series 12. Uh, they obviously had some issues. We do get the uh, painted on chest hair going there. Could we give him the George Animal Steel? We want the real fur Arn Anderson chest hair. That's what we're looking for. Uh, he does come with a fist, which is always nice to see. So we do get a fist with the old double A. But besides that, pretty plain Jane. Two plain Jane wrestlers, but two of my favorite wrestlers of the 80s and 90s. Uh, two members of the iconic Four Horsemen, of course. Uh, Dean Malenko, Arn Anderson, uh, must-haves for your collection, especially if you're a Horseman fan. you got to have these guys. Come on, what are we doing? Uh, but Jack's Class Superstar Series 12, another home run with these two in my estimation. But what about your estimation? Double A taking the header. What do you think of Double A? What do you think of Dean Malenko? Easy pass, easy pickup. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, as you guys know by now. Uh, follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, ProWrestlingTees.com, support the channel, pick up a t-shirt. And your best way to support the channel is the Patreon link in the description below. You can get videos like these months and months months and months earlier than traditional YouTube, bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways, and like I said, best of all, you do support the channel over there at the old Patreon. So for AA Arn Anderson, the Iceman, Dean Malenko, I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon. Oh no, heel turn.